Steam Next Fest is now over and I had the pleasure to play some amazing demos and in this video I will showcase some of my personal favorites as well as give you some information about them. There is no specific order to them and I think all of them had something special going about them so here they are. Starting off with Pacific Drive which is an upcoming sci-fi survival game. The game itself looks amazing with one of my favorite art styles. The atmosphere it sets is dark and mysterious, the gameplay is smooth and interesting and the overall experience was great. One negative thing I can say about the game is the UI which is definitely not where the game shines. It can be quite confusing and take some time to understand what exactly you're looking at but as a big fan of survival games that won't stop me from playing it and it immediately went to my wishlist. Biomorph is an action platformer game similar in a way to Dead Cells. I have to say the animations the game showcased were amazing and the gameplay was unique. When you kill an enemy you can morph into it which gives you a set of new powers and when you kill that certain enemy a certain amount of times you unlock it permanently. It's important to unlock those morphs as the different powers help you solve the puzzles along the way. The world is beautiful and the gameplay was very satisfying, definitely a game I'm looking forward to. If you're a fan of rhythm games, Beat Slayer is the game for you. Last year Hi-Fi Rush was one of my personal favorite games I played and Beat Slayer doesn't fall behind when it comes to enjoyment. It's a top-down rhythm game with a map system similar to Slay the Spire where you have paths and you choose which way to go depending on what upgrades you want. It's designed for you to die several times so you can unlock upgrades and eventually tackle the enemy. Definitely a game I enjoyed very much. If you want some cozy time and love making someone do the work for you, look no further than Odd Sparks. Odd Sparks an automation adventure is a crafting automation game where you all around cute sparks to do the job for you while you explore the world it presents. The game has a cheer system and the more you progress the newer sparks you unlock which can do different jobs. If you enjoy games like Factorio it is definitely a game worth checking out. Ah, Zombie survivals, one of my personal favorite genres. Welcome to Paradise gives us a unique twist where instead of just trying to survive and murder zombies we employ them to work for us. The game is top down and it was probably one of my favorite demos to play. You have building, you have fast crafting where it doesn't take 5 minutes holding a button or waiting for a couple of items, you have your dog, skill tree which is both for you and the zombies, equipment for both of you and the zombies and the overall exploring was very enjoyable. Definitely a survival game I will be checking out. Gatekeeper is an action roguelike looter shooter with a very satisfying gameplay. You have different heroes to choose from as well as different difficulties. The game is split in stages and to each one gets harder with certain objective which you have to do in order to progress to the next stage. The design is beautiful and the action is constant leaving you no time to rest. Definitely a game to keep your eye on if you enjoy games like Dead Cells or Vampire Survivors. Indica is a game about self discovery. You play as a nun and you have a very unusual companion, the devil himself. The game is set in Russia and the setting it has is very beautiful. It is a puzzle game requiring you to pay attention to your surroundings. One negative thing I have to say which I hope it's changed for the full release is the font and audio be used. The pixel art definitely doesn't fit the game and the sound effects are like I'm going into a Mario World stage. Besides that the demo was great and I think this game has a lot of potential to be very successful. If you're a fan of puzzles and puzzle games, I Want of Insight is the game for you. The game is releasing on 13th of February and what's unique about it is that it works like an MMO. While you're doing puzzles and turning around looking at the scenery, you can see other players which are also turning around and solving puzzles. The various puzzles have different difficulties and there are also hidden items which you can discover in all the areas. Time definitely flew by while I was playing and I would definitely go back to solve more puzzles. There were definitely more amazing demos which I didn't have the chance to check out, but it's safe to say that the amount of great games coming out is a lot and I'm excited to check out each one of those games. As always, thanks for watching and have a good one.